Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give wouldn't give him any other okay, choice. Again, you stupid a headset. drowning man will clutch What is going on, strong. my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Last time, we did stuff. I feel like saying that, don't you? All right, there is an achievement little by little, on this level. Without realizing it, we are not I come to believe do it that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. And Mary we're going to do that. Jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. Eventually. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. A lot of these collectibles, like, they're pretty dumb. I feel like it's right here. I feel like it's still around. This is that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go find this thing. You know how the heck are you supposed to find this? Like it's on the other side of these logs. Like, there's no way you can find them. But whatever game. I actually jump up the cliff to die just to restart the area just so I can get back here faster, but you know, I'll be right back. Alright, so back underneath the bridge, I was partially right. I'm gonna screw up a little bit. Alright, so I was halfway right when we went up here originally. We do have to go up here, but not what I was looking for originally. Of course, there's a random shack in the middle of the woods, because why not? And of course, I've heard thing in the world. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. We don't like music here. Music's bad for copyright. Alright. We should have a nice peaceful drive for a little bit. At least hopefully, because you know, uh, game one. So how's everyone doing today? I think we have to down like a guy. This thing's so 
those are driving up hills on the dirt road. Alright, on our next stop. This tower. Not gonna believe what's going to be up on the tower. Take a guess. Is it a collectible? Yes. It's another radio! <laughs> Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say... It's shaking a few things loose. So be it, Pat. So be it. Alright, back down we go, because, you know, back-to-back -back radio stations are fun. Oh, back to driving. We're done driving. <laughs> like, this achievement that we're, that we're skipping for collectibles is hilarious. But like I said, we'll get to that another time. The collectibles first. And we can be achievement. Eventually. Manuscript page! Yay! That was easy. Let's keep moving. I mean, seriously. Kind of wish these collectibles didn't exist on this driving. Right. We shouldn't have another collectible for a few minutes. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Never mind, I want. Beep. Wait, is that number 45? That was 44. Uh-oh. I missed something. I thought this was... Wait, what? Uh-oh. I read that. So many signs. Okay, there's the thermos I'm looking for. 
Okay. Let's see where we're at, Simon. We should be at seven, even though we just read like five. All right, good. Forty-two. All right, we're all caught up. Up we go. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And now it's night time. Thanks. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Oh, I have weapons to shot. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Hmm. All right. Maybe closer than ever before. We're in area that we could possibly get, especially cop. Oh, this is gonna be a big fight. Right side is we don't. Ooh, look at flashbangs too. Screw flashbangs. Players are so much better. They actually work. All right. Still in good shape.
great. The, the only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. over there. And I want to keep going this way. Because we need to turn off the power to the building. Pulling up. Oh, I could have drove that. Okay, hold on one second. Actually, this is a good time to see. Next time, one is Alan Wake. We're gonna keep going and find more stuff. See you later.